Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 31st of January 1983, it became compulsory for all drivers and front seat passengers in the United Kingdom to wear seat belts. The modern three point seat belt was created by Swedish inventor Nils Bolin, who was a safety engineer for car manufacturer Volvo. His creation was first fitted as a standard item to the Volvo 122 in 1959, after which the company made the patent available to other car manufacturers for free. Australia was the first country to mandate the wearing of seatbelts. While all British cars manufactured after 1967 had to have seatbelts fitted, it took 12 attempts for legislation to be passed through Parliament to make it a legal requirement to actually wear them. Figures released at the time placed the number of road deaths in Britain at around 6,000. William Rogers, who served as the Secretary of State for Transport in the previous government, claimed that wearing seatbelts could have saved upwards of 1,000 of these lives. Yet, even in the face of these figures, which were not widely disputed, Critics of the new law accused the government of infringing on personal freedoms and of operating a nanny state. The government, along with organisations such as the Automobile Association and the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, invested heavily in pre-legislation advertising campaigns. These are believed to have increased the voluntary seatbelt wearing rate to around 50%, while surveys conducted in the days after the law came into force showed that over 90% of people were now wearing their seatbelts. The penalty for not doing so was a £50 fine. The first year of the law also saw the number of road deaths drop by nearly 500, and, having been trialled initially for three years, the compulsory wearing of seatbelts was made permanent in 1986. If you enjoy History Pod, please consider supporting it. You can find details at patreon.com forward slash history pod. Alternatively, please leave a rating or a review on iTunes, Stitcher or Google Play.